Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, my name is Casey Kepley. You're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to be covering Autodesk Inventor uh, Professional 2016. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get started on a, uh, on a new part or a new drawing. I'm going to kind of take you through the user uh, interface here on Autodesk Professional Inventor. Inter in Inventor Professional, sorry. And um, just show you kind of, you know, like what what tools are offered and how to get you started here. So, um, moving forward, the first thing you want to do when you open Autodesk Inventor, you're going to come to this window. You're going to select uh, New Part, and I'm just using New Part as an example. You can set up an assembly, presentation, or drawing. Uh, those are your four options, but we're going to go with the New Part today. And it's a uh, Inventor is a 3D parametric. Uh, design tool that you can use for like mechanical drawing, creating bolts, nuts, uh, things of that nature. So when you're opening your new drawing here, it's going to take you to the uh, tool panel, and you know you may you may notice that it has kind of a same look and feel as uh, AutoCAD and Revit, and that's you know in part because it's made by Autodesk which is the same company that makes the other two software programs. Uh, so that would be why it looks real similar. But you're going to come to this window here. Um, this is your workspace, where my cursor is. And this is uh, your part number one. Now in the left hand side, under origin, you want to drop that down so that you get your your planes. Because it's a 3D parametric design tool, it works off of planes and that's how you draw your sketches is on on these different planes um, now you want to make sure that they're visible though that's the first thing you want to do so right click on your plane or select the plane right click it and you're gonna select visibility you're gonna do this with all three planes and you may notice as I do this uh, my plane starts showing up here in my workspace now if you hold down on the shift key and then click down on the top of your mouse button you'll be able to rotate it as such and you may notice that you know I've got the three different work planes intersecting each other at a center point the cool thing here is when you're rotating everything around you can use the wheel the wheel comes in pretty handy um, you can rotate it around so we'll go back to a, a view here so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So right now, there, this plane right here, you, know, you can see I'm on that work plane. Now if I want to, I can jump to this other work plane right here. And now I'm on the, the, the XY plane. And then I can jump to the uh, XZ plane. Um, you can also add planes onto this as your drawing becomes more complex but those are the planes and that's how you get them visible so we'll go back to the front here in order to start a sketch and this is how you'd start every drawing that you uh, you know that you implement in uh, in Benner here you're gonna wanna start on a plane so we could start on the XY plane you're going to start a 2D sketch right up here in the left hand corner. Just click start 2D sketch. And then from here, you can select circle, you could select uh, line. You almost always want to start from the center point though. Um, and we'll just draw one out here. We'll draw a circle. And so now I have a circle on this. Uh, XY plane. Okay. Now, in order to finish the sketch, just click on Finish Sketch up here in the tool panel under under the Sketch tab, and that finishes your sketch, and you are ready for the next portion. Which, again, like I was saying earlier, um, I could start another drawing on a different plane. So we'll rotate it over here and jump on a different plane. We could go with the YZ plane, start a sketch there, 
and I could start a sketch drawing, you know, some crazy shape. And you may notice that the uh, plane works around the shape that I'm drawing. Okay, so it doesn't start out when you're sh when you're starting your drawing. It doesn't actually start out, you know, at a certain size. So that allows you to expand on on the size of the plane as you're drawing. So we'll go ahead and finish that sketch. So now I've got two different sketches going on two different planes, as you can see right here. And that's how you would uh, you would start a drawing in Inventor. Now I could cover more but this video would run way too long. So what I'm going to do is break this program down into separate videos, kind of like what I'm doing with AutoCAD and Revit, and I'll show you what some of these other tools do um, in the future. So we'll, we'll go over all the different tabs, and then we'll go through the tools, and I'll start showing you different things that you can do uh, when you're working with Inventor. But until then, you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.